Yeah, it comes from that. Holy shit. Yeah, it comes from that. Also, he dedicated that song to Benny the Jet or Quidez. He's one of the most famous kickboxers, American kickboxers of all time. But you'll really, to be honest with you, you'll know him from like shitty Jackie Chan movies and Golden Harvest movies. Did he jump movies. off to Golden Harvest? He did not. He was a famous martial artist who you'll know, you'll, if I showed you a picture of him, you'd know him from movies. He's mad looking. Is he's, he always the bad guy for me? Always the bad guy. Bet you I know the guy you're talking Cash about. Cash money. Bet you I know the guy. Weird literally. He's, he's like, I don't know where his family are from. Like, Orquita sounds weird. It could be South America somewhere. He doesn't look South America. Right. South American. But he's mad looking. But he's always a baddie in shitty action movies. Yeah, from the 80s and 90s. He's, he, I've, I've got it nailed down to two people. Yeah. Be one of, yeah. So, David Lee Roth was a student of his for kickboxing. Um, Benny the Jet Orquita is kind of the guy who made kickboxing uh, very popular in America. He had some match against some, like, unbeatable fucking toy guy or something yeah. like that. And uh, I don't know, I can't remember whether he won or he just was shit hot. I don't, I don't know much about kickboxing. But he's the guy who uh, popularizing kickboxing in America is accredited to. And David Lee Roth was a student of his. Because that's pretty he, big. That's pretty big. Kickboxing is massive. Right now it's kind of big, yeah. But like, this would have been in the fucking 80s. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's my last one. Van Halen Jump. Oh, I remember it being on the radio all the time. It was fucking mega popular. Yeah. And it, was, it must have been popular for years because, like I said, I was two. You know what I mean? I was I was looking for the Liga. You know what I mean? When this song yeah. came out. Or the titty. The fucking the Rusk. <laughs> fuck the tits and fuck Liga. Give me the Rusk. I eat Rusk now. I buy Rusks regularly. Yeah, they're the best. I Liga's, don't buy Liga. Liga Scaldi. No. Sc- stale bread. Old, yeah, old, stale bread. Or, or, or old, old, biscuits. old man biscuits. Yeah, that's all Liga no. is. Fuck Liga. Rusk. Murderous. You Unless you fuck up and you buy them fucking sugar free rusks. Oh god. They can die. They're, They're disgusting. disgusting. Yeah. They can die They're in disgusting. a fire. Absolutely disgusting. People always go to me when I have like say uh, you know uh, I caved and I bought some rusks the other because I love them goes bit of milk and go, I'll, stop oh. you, I'll stop you. There. No, I do that as well. No, Not all them. the time. Fuck I will eat them straight up as biscuits. I don't mind it as that, but to me that's just no no, it's better to just here's the here's into the it. here's the problem, helmet, right? Loads of people make their rusk if they're doing like the hot milk rusk, they make them too milky. And too sloppy, and it's not worth a shite, right? You need to have there's a, a crunch. Too. There's a beautiful, there's a lovely kind of middle ground to be found there. Where you've got that delicious, creamy rusk, but there has to be lumps of crunchy, crunchy rusk in it as well. Jesus, the nostalgia of this episode. Unreal. It's like, do you remember Country Star? Yes. Right? It's like oh, when you used when to be addicted to that. Of course it was. It's just sugar. It's just pure sugar. Absolutely. Your parents are like, that young fella's real fat. Yeah. I'm going to put him on the muesli, <laughs> right? But it was, yeah. it was more sugar than Cocoa Pops yeah. and fucking wheat. I was combined. Yeah. It was unreal. Do you remember the milk con- at the I end of it? I tried to eat Country Star years later and I, my eyes were bleeding. Oil, that's it the only true. cereal I've ever had in my entire life that had corn in it. There was lumps of corn in Country Star. Jesus, it was so good. Didn't have big hazelnuts. Yeah, oh, savagery. Did you ever see the boxes of them now? Like a fucking LP. There's about half a bowl oh, in it. Really? Yeah. I didn't even think it. you could still get it. Oh, you can get it. If you went to like Iceland or something, you find it. Wasn't the box like like a little store room? Yeah, it was like oh. a like a fucking herb chest yeah. but full of the grain and all. Didn't show you like literally quarter of the the, the box of sugar. I'd eat probably two or three bowls of that in a happy kid, and a be kid. on on the jacks for a yeah. week later. That and start. Oh, two start. Top. you got me a box of start about three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> we had this conversation one night in the pub about start cereal, about how good it was, and you found a couple of boxes of start, and I was like a fucking baby going home. I went it's home. still just as good. Of course it is, the exact same. It's not, I went it's home. It's a bit small. No, it's a bit and the box is definitely smaller. No, but the, t- the, the, the things themselves aren't really that much smaller. I don't remember, because yeah. your, your face you, would have been so much smaller. Your face gets bigger. Yeah, exactly. Can't complain about the size of this and that when your whole head is ten times exactly. the size. Exactly. I remember going home with that box to start under my arm and waking me missus up at four o'clock <laughs> in the morning. She's fast asleep. I'm like, listen, smash down my mind. How am I got me start? She's like, what the fuck in Poland? What is start? Like, listen. <laughs> <laughs> we're, about to, we're about to teach you the ways of Ireland in the 80s. <laughs> Get up the fuck. I've got a two litre bottle of milk and a box of stars. Every time we try and talk to someone about start, like, oh, you are posh. I'm like, oh, no. No, it was, no. Just, it was the same price, just a smaller box. That's all. For some reason. Yeah. And it was definitely a bit posher, but not like. Cereal back in the day was like 80 I don't pence think it was posher. I think it was just bad value for money. Special K was posh. And Special all brand. Yeah, that, and all that. Definitely. That's definitely. All, all brand is spikes. And like the little fiber, fruit and fiber, fruit and, fi- fruit and fiber. I never had, went near that. Fruit and fiber had the delicious bananas in it. That, that's all you wanted. The yeah, dehydrated bananas. I, that was it. That's the only thing I can eat that's dehydrated. When everybody put peaches and stuff. Oh like, no, like fruit. They're sweet jelly. I'll, Give me bananas. Eat them yeah. all day. Listen, let's move on. What's your last one? To, my last one is from when I used to be genuinely a little raver and go to let's say discos. They were called as a mm. kid. Do you remember going to discos in the community center? No, but yeah. 
You don't? I never went to any of that shit, no. Oh, you did? You went dancing. To, to be honest, I've dancing. done very, very little as a child except for get, get videoed with the neighbours. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm being brutally honest. Your Michael Jackson story is so strange. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it used to go just what you do is on a Friday night the kids would go dancing the thing. maybe this was just no it'd be like the Wesley or one of those I, I, I know exactly what you're talking yeah. about but I didn't but this was very young at the time it would have been like Jesus 10 or 11 now this was later were you given a packed lunch and sent that's out? when I used to like be going mad for like Rhythms of Dancer Mr. Oh, yeah. Bane and all <laughs> them but when I was a little bit older West Bam was harder and it's just German almost techno-y kind of stuff and it's the first album I ever bought with my money was Bam 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 the album mm. and it is just just, it's not it's not very good to listen to now I'm not going to be perfectly mm. honest with you but it does bring back those memories of the time I saw oh where was I I think it was maybe the OLX Centre or something like that and I saw the album finally came out because I'd heard the singles Celebration Generation is the song that I picked and Mimi Macy used to go absolutely mad for that this is that not a dead dead song no no mm. not dead dead yeah dead no. no now I never genuinely not into drugs at all like that this music was made for drugs mm. 100% but I would have been even too young then to be on pills or anything like that that's, this they, is, they were, that's 1994 yeah, they were to be honest with you if, you if you were from like a half a decent house like like a, a quarter decent home like drugs were like kind of almost mythological like you knew they were there but you didn't know how to get them but you knew a lad who took them but couldn't get them for you they were always like just slightly out of reach. That's where I liked having them out of reach because yeah, I I was just never a different story it. now. Yeah, and I knew I know now why is because I was built to gargle. Mm. Gargle's my favorite thing in the world. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Gargling, did he? I'm after drinking two, two points of whiskey. That's you my Jesus, second. You did, yeah, you did. So West Bam. Some people might. I mean, I say nobody listens to this podcast probably don't know it's from. Not, not, that's not a pretend that's a lie Helmer I'll tell you why people listen to this podcast no no yeah they, they do I'm saying the, the fact that they listen the chance to listen to this and knowing really much about West Bam is slim is I do I'm not saying. know this whatsoever so, yeah well I don't know you don't know West Bam no yeah that's what I'm saying but like, yeah, yeah. I'm, not, I'm, I'm not trying to be pretentious like, people won't notice it's just too random yeah they had a couple of songs I used to tape their songs off the radio and they did a. They were on a compilation of cover a techno kind of heavy, heavy. And there's too many subgenres in that yeah, music. Yeah, let's just, just go with it. A cover album from the band Yellow, the Swiss band, mm. Swiss band uh, pop band Yellow. Yellow with the O. You know, yeah. Boom, boom. Ferris Bueller. Mm. They have loads of like your man. Your man. Oh, oh Yellow yeah. is like a multi-millionaire. Yeah, architect or something like that. Or architect. Oh yeah, like it was that. a flying lizard. Oh, sorry. Anyway, he's yeah, he's absolutely minted. But Yellow. I never really knew much about them but there was loads of West Bam Hands on Yellow the album was called Hands on Yellow and it had Jam and Spoon and had loads of people on it Jam and Spoon Jam and Spoon do you remember that? no right in the night I remember yeah, Toe Jam and the Earl the video game I whatever. played that the other day did you? for about 8 hours <laughs> <sighs> Toe Jam God so nostalgic mm. this episode is so nostalgic steeped in nostalgia for real it's literally it's got one of them like Kellogg's fucking reflectors yeah. on it that's how nostalgic it is the stuff I would listen to around this time would have been Scooter, to be honest with you, this is how bad it was. I'm not gonna lie, it's bad. I might as well just out myself now as a little stupid raver back then. Uh, ultrasonic, mm. alternate, wasn't that into alternate prodigy? Absolutely, oh, massive. alter, okay, alter, I thought you said M&H. Remember, M&H? M&H. oh god, yeah, I got a little something for you. Remember Sounds that? a bit rape, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want some whiskey? No, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to leave that off. You sound like I have a great crack on the whiskey. Oh, it's good for the, the next thing we're going to do. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, podcast. That sounds weird. <laughs> <laughs> Are you on top? We'll be doing uh, for a bit. <laughs> for a bit? Uh, I don't really know what else to say about West Ham. It's just, I, just listen, fucking, it's a memory and it's you know, a fucking moment. It's just, it's, yeah, and when I got a bit older, the, the when I got old enough to go to clubs, that was well gone. Of course it this was. This was 94, so we're talking... When I was going to clubs, it was actually a good kind of time. I still, again, genuinely never took drugs. It's not, it's not for me. I saw people just look at you, but also, I have a personality and I know how to dance. Don't need them, sorry. Not, not to be real. 
You got the love practice in front of the camera. <laughs> did. No, you're a camera guy. I was just in my own. Nobody caught me. I used to do a Robocop dance. I used to be able to do the whole, and I remember going for swimming lessons. And I said, walk out wearing just a pair of jocks and a swimming cap and the goggles. And I'd yeah, be like, definitely filming you then. Doing that. And me, yeah. again, me hopefully used to call all his mates over as well. So look at him doing Robocop. Did he charge in? No, I shouldn't have been watching Robocop. I was like eight. Ro- Robocop is a very adult God, film. The things I used to watch. Of course, you watched all sorts of shows. You know what the gas thing was? You, you look back. This, it's weird things that used to scare you. Gore, nothing mm-hmm. as a kid. Nothing would scare me. No, the, wor- the most scariest thing in the entire world was when someone was riding on the screen and your parents, and your parents were in the same were. room. It's the worst thing. And in the world. Where do you look? Where, what do you do? Find spiders. What do you do? Look for spiders. Well, look, yeah, look at oh, look f- yeah. There's a spider up yeah, there. Exactly. I wish I was dead. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> let me die. Let me but let me, look at the, let me look at the fucking video recorder and see what time in the film this is. And I might get to watch it tomorrow when everybody's Oh, definitely. Yeah. 100%. Oh, take an absolute timestamp. <laughs> Full on. <laughs> no, no. Full on. But you could do you could do two things. You could let, hopefully, hope the world swallows you up yeah. in those things. Yeah. Or you could walk past your parents to go for something that you need yeah. in the kitchen. Ham sandwich but then you time. have to remember, shit, did something happen in my netters? That, are we walking, are we just waving that around the room? Yeah. You don't know. For real. Just stay there. And hope Remind me to tell you about the story about the time my grandmother rented rented porkies for me. I, 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 are we not doing it now? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> People are going to be like... People can ask about it. My grandmother went to the fucking... I remember staying over at my grandparents' house and my grandmother said, well, I get you a film. And I said, yeah, it's good, whatever. And she came back with porkies. Porkies. <laughs> like, basically a porno. <laughs> yeah. And said and put it in the video player herself. She's and pressed play. Yeah. Sat there <laughs> with me <laughs> watching it. Me and the neighbour's fucking grandson as well, <laughs> Andrew. Two of us sat there beside each other <laughs> watching porkies with my grandmother. <laughs> Turn it off. No, she was breaking up while laughing. It's like glory holes and shit. Oh, all sorts of mad shit. Like, it's still a comedy. <laughs> but, like, she's breaking up while laughing. And me and him are looking at each other going, like, my gr-. he's looking at me going, why is your granny here? And I'm like, why-? <laughs> and I'm looking at him going, why did my granny get this? Let alone, why is she here? Why are we watching Porky's? And I'm pretty sure, like, a year later, she got Porky's to the Revenge or whatever it's called. She kept getting all these films. Emmanuel. <laughs> no, it was not that bad. <laughs> They're the ones you found in your dad's sock drawer. That's what them films are. <laughs> Anyway, are we done? <laughs> I, think, I think we're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before we say something, we can't take oh back. Oh, God. <laughs> Go on. See you next time. And we have another podcast to record as well. This is going to be great, crack. Oh, God. Yeah, the, you're going to hear the next one the week after this, presumably. Yeah. So, remember that. <laughs> <laughs> also, I, I am at the moment, uh, what's kind of good news is that uh, I, I found out the other day that we are the seventh most listened to music podcast in Ireland at the moment. No, Irish, I, I'm a bit thick, so I thought that meant <coughs> I thought that meant we were the seventh biggest Irish music. Podcast. No, in I like, Ireland, I was like, that's yeah. shy. In Ireland, on the Apple charts, we are the the seventh most listened to podcast. Um, I couldn't tell you another music podcast. Oh, I, don't, I don't really listen to. Podcasts. I'm sure there's a bunch of them. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't feel bad when people. tell I me. listen to loads of podcasts, but none of them are about uh, particular topics. To be honest with you, they're all kind of general. I think I can safely say, without listening to any of them, our one is the best. Uh, absolutely, because we're on it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's starting Who else get, drinks points of whiskey and it's smokes, starting to get, smokes, it's smokes? It's starting to get a bit drinky, so we're going to leave it there. As yeah. if we don't have another one to record straight after this, and the next one is going to get angry. The next so, one, I'm going to have to go up and batter someone. So we might as well tell you that the next one will be the next time. When you're hearing this, you, you'll hear it next week. So uh, good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Bye bye.